In this video, we'll discover grit and personal wellness. What happens if you lack grit in your life? Evidence has shown that if you lack resilience, your mental health can be negatively impacted. But why is this the case? How does grit improve your personal wellness? How a lack of resilience can negatively impact your mental well-being. If something goes wrong, are you more likely to fall apart or bounce back? If you've got resilience, you're capable of harnessing your inner strength and thus rebound from challenges and setbacks that you experience. Job losses, illnesses, traumas, or deaths can all be survived without serious challenge to your mental well-being. On the other hand, if you have no resilience, you may end up feeling victimized, dwelling in problems, becoming overwhelmed, or even worse, turning to unhealthy coping strategies like alcohol or drugs. Being resilient doesn't make your issues go away. However, it gives you more ability to find enjoyment in your life despite them, to see beyond those problems and find better ways of handling stress. Luckily, it's possible to develop more resilience in your life. This will allow you to adapt to adversity. Yes, you'll experience pain, grief, and anger, but you'll still be able to function psychologically and physically. Being resilient isn't just about withstanding something difficult. It's about getting support from other people and accepting it too. Resilience helps to protect you from mental health problems like anxiety and depression. It also offsets factors that can increase your chance of developing mental health disorders. Even if you've already been diagnosed with a mental health problem, becoming more resilient boosts your ability to cope. How can you improve your own resilience? Here are some tips. Build positive, strong relationships with friends and loved ones so you have acceptance and support in both the bad and good times. Make each day have meaning. Ensure you do something every day that makes you feel accomplished and purposeful. Set goals that will enable you to look forward with meaning to the future. Learn from your experiences. Think about how you have coped with problems in your past and consider the strategies and skills which have helped you in difficult times. When you've identified your negative and positive behavior patterns, you can use this information to guide your behavior in the future. Stay hopeful. It isn't possible to change what's already happened, but you can look to the future with positivity. Accept and anticipate change so you can adapt more easily to new challenges. Care for yourself. Pay attention to your feelings and needs. Participate in hobbies and activities you enjoy and include physical activity as part of your everyday routine. Sleep well, eat well, practice relaxation techniques and stress management, and you'll feel more able to cope. Be proactive. Never ignore problems. Rather, figure out what you need to do, create a plan, then take action. While recovery takes time when you experience a loss, trauma, or setback, you need to know your situation will improve when you work at resolving it. Resilience and happiness. Happiness can be elusive. Most of us grew up believing that material possessions are the key to happiness. Clothing, food, and shelter simply aren't enough to make us feel satisfied. Even if you buy your dream home, that still isn't sufficient you begin dreaming about the landscaping or the furniture you desire. Once each wish is satisfied, more desires raise their heads. The more you get involved in the idea that you'll be happy once you've got enough possessions, the more you'll be trapped. You'll feel jealous of those with more than you. You'll even take risks to buy things you can't afford. The more you desire stuff, the less happy you'll be. Possessions can't make you happy. Once your basic needs have been addressed, you cannot buy more happiness, not at any price. Happiness is more about how you respond to your circumstances than the circumstances in which you find yourself. Your happiness, therefore, depends on the way in which you approach life. Satisfaction isn't really about getting the things you want. It's rather about wanting the things you have and learning how to feel content. 
happy people have certain traits that set them apart. They have good self-esteem. They respect their own value as a person and feel confident about themselves. With a strong sense of their own self-worth, they can cope if times get tough and persist until those times are gone. Good self-control. They believe they can control the things that happen to them and that they have control of their own destiny, so they aren't a victim of fate. Optimism. They are hopeful and believe they can succeed whenever they try a new thing. Their glass is always half full. Sociability. Happy people are usually outgoing and love being around other people. They engage in social activities and have friends for social support and affection. Can you become happier? After all, not everybody is an optimistic, confident extrovert. Yet, it's possible to become happier by pretending you have those facets in your personality. Fake it until you make it. By practicing being happy, you can strengthen your ability to become happy. And as you become more comfortable acting in this way, this attitude will start to become natural to you. When interacting with others, pretend to be outgoing. You'll soon find that you can be sociable after all, and with this sociability comes greater confidence and self-esteem. All of these things boost your optimism and happiness in the future. Resilience and Motivation Resilience allows you to bounce back no matter what emotional, physical, social, or financial challenge you face. Resilience means having the ability to change and adapt to your circumstances, even if you face tragedy, adversity, trauma, stress, and hardship. Motivation isn't the same thing as resilience, but it is related to it. Motivation has its basis on inner urges, rather than being stimulated as a response to challenge or adversity. Motivation is a need desire, or drive to behave in certain ways so a specific end can be achieved. However, it is linked to resilience because motivation is necessary if you're going to be a resilient person. People who are resilient and people who have motivation have similar characteristics and both can be developed in time. Resilient versus non-resilient people, a comparison. So, how do resilient people compare with those who lack resilience? There are several comparisons that can be drawn. 1. They can control their own destiny. It's hard to understand ways in which you can control your own destiny, since adversity's very nature takes away control. If you view yourself as being essentially able to control the bad and good things you experience, you can create your own scenarios and options based on foresight the situation itself, and instinct. This allows you to draw up an alternative plan in anticipation of adversity, or even in the midst of it. 2. They accept the fight. Humans are naturally predisposed to battle adversity bitterly. The most resilient people find ways of fighting adversity by embracing it. It's important to learn that it isn't about how your dreams can be achieved. It's about learning how you can lead your life in the best possible way. If you do this, your dreams can come true naturally. Accepting the situation in which you find yourself and letting go of that outcome allows you to adapt to circumstances and thrive, even when adversity raises its head. 3. They can use adversity as a compass. Adversity often comes into your life in order to show you the path to your true destiny. Even the toughest times can serve a higher purpose to make you realize your true goals and the road that you should take. It may seem that you're being led in a direction that is completely opposite to that which you desired, but resilient people accept that they are traveling this new path and use the adversity they encounter to find a new vision and a new calling that can help others as well as themselves. 4. They suffer well. Inherently, adversity will invoke disappointment, suffering, and pain. Accepting pain and growing through it all forms a key part of personal growth. Of course, this isn't easy. Learning how to suffer well is a skill like any other 
and therefore requires ongoing conscious learning and practice. 5. They are patient. Patience is a virtue, but it is also a skill that demands practice over and over again. Strength lies in being patient, and practicing patience starts with compassion towards other people, even when they hurt you or behave in a negative way, as well as gratitude. If you can feel thankful for the things you have, even if your life is turned upside down, you are ready to practice patience. 6. They let go. We experience fear as a protective emotion to signal danger so we can prepare for problems and cope with them. Perhaps fear is the main emotion holding us back. We fear failure, loss, the unknown, and change. Emotional pain also holds us back from achieving our goals. While other people cause us pain in our lives, we can also cause ourselves pain through our own actions. There is a physical reaction that we experience to pain and fear. This is known as the flight or fight response. If you let go, this is an inner action that prevents us from resisting pain and fear and allows us to see more clearly. If you can develop a non-judgmental attitude towards people and life, you can truly let go. We can then forgive other people and ourselves for incompatibility and mistakes. You must therefore become willing to let go of those people you no longer need as well as your anger, pain, and fear. Letting go allows you to change and adapt, to become more flexible. While this isn't easy and takes conscious effort, it is something that must be mastered to become truly resilient and successful in the face of adversity. 7. They live for today. If you live in the moment, you can escape adversity and preserve your energy. Living for today doesn't mean you don't care about the future or your past. Rather, it means that once you've decided to do something, your focus lies solely on doing it, instead of allowing your mind to go back to the past or wander towards the future. 8. They can lead from within. Even in our darkest moments, we need to remain connected with our core intentions. People who are resilient reach their highest possible potential through taking risks which are consistent with their own purpose and ethos. Essentially, they lead themselves. 9. They are flexible. We only need to look at water to see an example of the strength of flexibility. Water may be soft, yielding, and fluid, but over time it wears away the rock that is unyielding and rigid. Whatever is yielding, soft, and fluid eventually overcomes that which is hard and rigid. To survive, lead, and thrive in the face of adversity, we therefore need to be flexible enough to ride out the ups and downs of life. This means we need to have the adaptability, resilience, and faith to manage life's harshest realities. 10. They choose the correct traveling partners. Those that we surround ourselves with make all the difference between success and failure in our lives. It isn't just the people that we choose to surround ourselves with that count, but it's also important to consider the ways in which we interact with them. We need to avoid those who take us backwards, waste our time, and bring us down. If they're not interested in our suffering, they need to be avoided. Although sometimes we cannot remove such people from our lives, we can make choices to prevent them from weakening us. In the journey of our lives, we encounter many people. While some are planned, others occur by coincidence or accident. Chance encounters can often be the best ones, with the people that we meet in such ways becoming valuable along the route that we travel. Even when those encounters are negative ones, their usefulness can be harnessed as a lesson for the future. 11. They move forwards. To be able to achieve our ambitions, we must be able to visualize our dreams. This creates the right mindset to bring our dreams to life. Knowing precisely what we desire lies at the heart of achieving success. But to execute that success, we need to move forwards, taking another step each day, even when the path is difficult. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by All Super Info.